We were given two days to forgive the attackers before they returned. We hardly knew how to read or to write, but that day, we learned how to vote. Do nothing. Stay and fight. Wait. Leave. If we do not forgive these men, we forfeit our place in heaven. Our choice will be your future. My name is Kita Alfred, and I'm the costume designer for Women Talking. My teachers, my colleagues, my teammates, my friends, schoolmates, are many of them are Mennonite, and I'm, and I know that the culture is has a lot of history here in Manitoba. So if if I were allowed to do some research here, I think we could get the most amazing information. Uh, and so the studio, Lynn Lucibello, allowed me to do that. Uh, people went out of their way to share their heritage with me, to share their knowledge, to share their uh, methods of their manufacturing methods, the reasons behind those manufacturing methods. So because of that graciousness, everywhere I went this happened in the community. Um, I wanted to make sure that the costumes were as accurate as possible. And because I had access to people who were familiar with plain dress, and even some of whom even lived that way, I was able to get the details correct. Within those very narrow but accurate parameters for plain dress, I had to choose fabric and uh, textures and colors and scale of pattern to almost subliminally uh, represent character for each of the individual characters, the actors in our room. I said to them all, the actors, it's like, this, here's, your, here's what your dress is going to look like. <laughs> and I, you know, I often make very narrow parameters like this, but within that, how are we going to pull out character? How am I going to be able to provide you with things that will help you develop your character? For the Friesens, I saw pure tones of purples and blue, bright blues, electric almost colors, um, repetitive forward-moving patterns on a smaller, regular scale. It's, uh, I, I use the word electric a lot, I'm not quite sure why, um, implying motion and forward, mo forward motion. With the Loans, I was drawn to more natural colors like greens and browns and purples, more irregular patterns that involved swirling and florals to a certain extent, but um, looser patterns that to me spoke of murkiness and uh, perhaps deep troubled waters. Not only did we use the outside details, we also, um, and in discussion with each actor, we chose body augmentation um, that you don't see uh, on camera. It's, it was to, to help the actors perhaps change their physicality. I do this when I say it, but you know, not, none of those women had had 10 children and lived on a farm all their lives and done back-breaking hard farm work all their lives, so they wanted to experience living in bodies that weren't like their own. So we did a little bit of addition or subtraction or restriction. We, um, a couple of the actors wanted something that would remind them of maybe being in labor 10 times and maybe your pelvis was exhausted after that and maybe you needed some sort of support, li literally and figuratively, to keep your body together and to, and to allow you to keep going. There are elements under the costumes that were also, for us, part of the costume. They help the actors move in different ways. You know, we just wanted to make sure it was accurate and respectful. At every point we wanted to be respectful because we had been given, and I in particular, in my research and in my help, was given the best help possible. <laughs>